Hello, my name is Lauren and welcome to the Theoretical YouTube channel, where I work a million times faster than my brother and he still gets half the credit. But seriously though, Kai's still working on his own video this week and so you're stuck with me. Again. Yay! So I was studying the first 10 minutes of the Disney movie Frozen the other day in order to figure out the layout of the castle of Arendelle, as you do. And I noticed this chessboard, which proves that the room that Elsa prepares for her coronation in is the same room that Ani gets locked in at the end of the movie by Hans. But more importantly, it reminded me of this chessboard from Tangled, which reminded me of the one from Brave, which reminded me that I talk about this kind of stuff on the internet and this would make a great video! So how many chessboards are there? There's the ones from Frozen, Tangled, and Brave, but also in the first Parent Trap, Beauty and the Beast, The Great Mouse Detective, Aladdin, Toy Story 2, The Hercules Cartoon, Pocahontas 2, The Pirates of the Caribbean, Ride, and Alice Through the Looking Glass. On a semi-related note, Mulan plays Chinese checkers, and there's a normal checkers board in The Rescuers Down Under. Not to mention, Pixar made a whole short about chess called Jerry's Game, which premiered in 1998 alongside A Bug's Life. The short involves a man named Jerry playing chess with himself. Actually, it's interesting to note that Jerry also appears in Toy Story 2 as the toy repairman who repairs Woody's arm at Al's toy store. You can even see his chess pieces in his toolkit. But why do chessboards keep appearing all over Disney movies? Well, for one thing, it's an easy symbol. Chess is one of the oldest and best known games in modern culture. It's a great example of something that's easy to learn, but hard to master. Chess itself is referenced to medieval styles of government and battles. There being six pieces called the queen, the king, the bishop, the knight, the rook, and the pawn. Each piece has a different social significance as well as military capability. The game's all about strategy and thinking multiple steps ahead of your opponent. In media such as movies, in order to communicate information to an audience, filmmakers will often use such things as shortcuts in order to get across their point. For instance, if they wanted to convey a character as cunning or intelligent, they might play a game of chess. Most evident in a lot of examples is the end of the game. The phrase checkmate refers to when one player has the opposing king cornered. The only way to win is to threaten the king and make it so that he has no possible escape. This makes a common scene for villains because it shows their crafty nature and may highlight a plan that they use against their opponents. In chess, the pawns go first. However, chess can also be a symbol of the upper class as it can show education, history, and sometimes eloquence. Chess can be a portrayal of a juxtaposition of ideas. It's literally black and white at odds with each other. The chessboard is also visually intriguing. It's checkered and perfectly square. The pieces are tall and imposing and have enough flexibility in design to appeal to an artistic standpoint. Take Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yes, I, I know it's not Disney. When Harry, Ron, and Hermione face McGonagall's chessboard, they initially think it's a graveyard. And even though the pieces don't look like a standard set, we can still tell who they're supposed to be. But how does Disney use chess? Well, Brave has the most direct interaction with the game, making it a major plot point. They use chess from a historical standpoint, and it represents balance. Tangled and Aladdin use it as an example of a game. Beauty and the Beast goes for an intellectual standpoint as a way to point out a flaw in Gaston. Mulan plays Chinese checkers for the opposite reason as it shows her intelligence. The Great Mouse Detective uses chess as a form of scale and to set tone. Those shadows add a lot to the scenery. Probably the most in-your-face example of using chess as a symbol is from Alice Through the Looking Glass. Now, by no means is this movie accurate to the book it's based on, but this scene is probably the best connection. If the first Alice story is set in a world of card games, then the second one is all about chess. This is actually where the White Queen's character comes from, a chess set. Most of the book revolves around Alice trying to make her way across a giant chessboard in order to become a queen on the other side, something a pawn can do in the game. Actually, this book is fairly genius. It starts out with a description of a chess game, and then the plot revolves around the moves that were described. So I guess Lewis Carroll was capable of writing something smart, even if he was still super creepy. So this scene is probably a reference to the original plot that they were about to butcher. Clever. But back to the Disney universe. You've got movies like Frozen, where the chessboard is just a piece of scenery, probably because it's an easily recognizable game and wouldn't take too much effort to animate. Chess as a symbol is also useful for a variety of time periods. 
there are very few Disney movies that would take place before the invention of chess, and it makes the game an icon that a modern audience can use to connect with the ancient characters. Overall, chess is a symbol of many different aspects of society that movies often use in their complex storylines. Whether to show conflict or triviality, class or intellect, you can count on Disney to keep using the symbol again and again. So that's about all I can think of for this topic. Also, I'm pretty sure I missed a couple movies because I couldn't go back and rewatch them all. So if you can think of any more examples from chess boards in Disney movies, then you should let us know in the comment section right there. If you liked this video, I would recommend subscribing because we just hit 100 subscribers! Yay! But we still appreciate you most of all, eighth subscriber. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Checkmate!